This podcast was edited and uploaded by Uncle G Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Drippin' G Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle G, and with me is host of Media Gaming. We record this podcast live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, or anywhere you can find a podcast. You can also watch our video podcast live over on YouTube.com slash Drip G. Drip, how'd you like me slip in that little live impromptu in the split second I decided? Because officially, as of today, unofficially, we're only doing live podcasts on the Drip G YouTube channel. That's right. That's I, right. Thought, I thought it was great. Really we're, live right, it. we're live right now. If you guys don't check out our live streams, you should do that. We're right, live right now. YouTube.com slash Drip Jeep hanging out. It's, Podcast defi- where- it's, it's also definitely totally Thursday night at 8 o'clock right now. Right now it is Thursday totally. 8 o'clock. While you're listening to this podcast on Thursday afternoon, do not ask your question of how it could possibly be recorded four hours from now. That is not the case. We're live. Just, don't ask questions. We never miss a live stream Thursday at 8 o'clock Eastern. Never. We don't do that. Never. Drip, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. I'm doing fantastic. Had a wonderful week. Uh... Lots of cool stuff. Lots oh, of cool yes. stuff, man. Oh, I got to I got to make yes. an awesome video because I got a switch in yep. the mail. So it looks yeah. like Arizona tea. So that's cool. It does. Uh, any I want to ask you, any particular reason why your switch literally looks like Arizona tea and drip media had a baby? Uh well, you know, it's just uh it's a thing I'm working out with uh, Arizona right now. I really can't talk about it yet, you know. Uh, just a, okay. it's a big yeah. sponsor, mm-hmm. uh yeah. mm-hmm. you know, thing. No. no, honestly, they had that. They had, you know, sorry, audio listeners, but they had this design on other things on their website. And I was mm-hmm. like, that's cool. Like, you don't have it on the Switch, but I was like, kind of, it kind of works, you know? The yeah. Lord of the Mountain, the the Bloopy, the little logo, it just, it all, I was like, that just works. I like that. Can we do this? They were like, yeah, sure. And I saw a mock up of it. It was cool. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. It looks cool. But when it got here, I was like, holy. Holy mama, that's awesome. <laughs> Indeed, they do look real sweet. If you guys don't can't, can't see that, or if you're on the audio, come check out the YouTube live yeah. stream. Well, there's also a full video on it on my channel. Oh, I forgot. Check that out. Oh, pff, you, sh- you probably yeah, should we could check do that. that. You probably um, should just do that, guys. And then today, I got more Joy-Cons. Yeah, I got the Splatoon Joy-Cons in the mail today. Yay, Koko Baby. So, more, more on Koko Baby in a minute, guys. Spoilers. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the homie. But, the homie. Yeah. They look awesome too. They look extremely yeah. awesome. Now you don't have the tablet. You just have the Joy Cons. Yeah, that's all I want though, man. Like I have so many different. That's all I want. I have the Monster Hunter Joy Cons. Sold the Monster Hunter tablet. I have the Animal Crossing Joy Cons. Sold the Animal Crossing tablet. I don't. I only need one. They all go. You know what I mean? Like I, I only need one. I, I see what I see. What you're saying. I don't understand it because if you want to collect the Joy Cons, I also want to collect the tablet too i don't so i don't, I don't need I don't, it I, don't, I just don't understand why you only want the joy cons but not the, the well special edition i'll tell tablet. you why you got to think about this too when i sold the monster hunter tablet i sold that thing for like 200 bucks which was i mean 300 i basically got all my money back yeah and i, yeah. I kept the dock and kept the joy cons I think another podcast is going to be when we could talk about collecting and collector. Yeah, mindset. that would be fun. We that's should really, do that next week because Nintendo is is one of the biggest. Uh, oh Nintendo man, we fans. could have Alex on for that because we Alex could. is literally like selling his collection right now. Interesting. Okay, we got, we got to talk to Alex about. I don't that, know if I'm supposed to talk about Nintendo. That. I don't know. Nintendo and collectors just come hand in hand. Lots of people collect Nintendo stuff. Yeah, so that's a really interesting podcast to to talk about and dive into. Like, cool like, tease like, for next week. <laughs> gonna be great. Hopefully, <laughs> if you're an Alex fan, pressure him to come on our podcast in his YouTube comment section. Switch yeah. corner that is. Uh, Drip got a packed podcast because we have some huge rumors. Always fun. Also, some real factual news it's not really news but we'll start with that first yeah the splatfest happened we talked about it last it week did. it came and went here we are and both of us are having some serious splatoon withdrawal uh at least me dude it's I real for myself. no i'm serious like I, i'm i can't and it's like i don't own splatoon 2 yeah and it would be foolish for me to go spend 60 dollars on splatoon 2 right now and then 60 more dollars on Splatoon 3 next week. It would be so foolish. Here, yeah, here we are. Yeah. Uh, 
I can. I'll be honest, guys. I considered it just just so I could play. I'm like like drip right now, scratching my arm. Like I need, hey man, it's just, I need, it's good. It is <laughs> I need good. Too. It's really good. Spoilers. It's really really good, guys. I, now drip and I are not traditional. We did not play the original two Splatoon games. Uh, I'll speak for myself here. Not playing for those first two games and playing this one, and it's a Splatfest. I th- I I've, I'm I'm really happy, but I'm also optimistic. Or I'm the opposite of optimistic. What's the what's the word for opti- pessimistic? Opt- I'm a pessimist about this game too, and I didn't talk about with you with you about this drip. Uh, the spot fest is something that only happens what once a month or once. Every I'm not sure. A while. I'm not sure how often it happens. It doesn't happen every day in the game. Is kind of what I'm understanding, right. and that's a shame because that game mode should be available to play every day. Now, is it? I'm kind of disappointed with knowing that it's only going to happen sometimes at certain times. But that's what makes it cool. It's like a build up, like oh, you know the next the next big tournament. Like it's kind of kind of, but what let, let's let's say this trip. What if Fortnite decided, "Hey, let's only do our main shooter mode once a no, month." No, 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 but see, that's the thing. You're you're you got that all wrong. That mode you will still be able to play. It's just not you can. You're not going to be able to. Do, I don't think you can do the three on three or the three teams. I don't think you can do that. I think that's only in the splat but fest. Two v like, two for I'm yeah, sorry, that's, four v four. That's yeah, going to be a thing. All you're the good. Time. You could. Yes. Oh yeah. I must. I misunderstood that. I suppose. No, no, no. That's the game, man. That's the. Someone that's to, like, so someone told me the game was one on one on one on one on one or something like four te- four teams, one player. Teams. No, no, four people on a team. Two teams. So, so what is the spot fest exactly then? If that's the game mode all it's, the time. Well, okay. Because it happened they, in the they old had, games too. Okay, listen. They had the rock, paper, scissor thing. You picked a team. And then okay. they, they took the wins of each team. That We yeah. were playing towards uh, that all day. Okay, so it's more. And it's not, not the game time, mode. Now listen, at halftime, we were ahead. We were scissors. So that's why every time we went into the the three the three team thing yeah there was two of them and four yes. of us but they could get those towers and do all that crazy shit we couldn't do right because we we had the advantage so that we were kind of giving them you know the opportunity to take it back or whatever which kind of sucked because we weren't way ahead we were barely barely <laughs> yeah. ahead and we ended up right. lo- I, I figured we we're gonna win but who won was it it was uh team rock baby rock that's right you switched from rock I didn't switch. I'm always on Team Rock. I just oh to, yeah. Well, I, had you, to, I, I was had to on, downgrade and play on yeah. Team Scissors with you. But I I really really enjoyed it. We played what we played probably three hours together. The last three hours of the of the demo. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, we played we played the last three hours together. We I played a whole bunch before that throughout the day. Probably I want to say I played about six hours that day. I probably had on. another. I had another hour with that with you. Before our last three hours, and then I had maybe a half an hour before that. I'd say somewhere close to four and a half, five hours. So yeah, we played close to the same amount. I mean, I I, I needed more. I was not ready to stop when we stopped playing at midnight. Dude, me either. I, it was only eleven for me, but Jesus, I I, I it was it's, not. An, dude. You're you're right on with that, man. It was not enough. Like one day, I thought a weekend would be nicer. But I see what Nintendo's doing. I see what they're doing. They're doing it intentional, so it builds that suspense. Builds what was your, your favorite? What was your favorite weapon? My favorite weapon? Oh my god! I think my favorite weapon was the the big roller. And I know no, I, was, I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. But I, I, because I, I, my, ga- I've learned that my game mode type is to paint rather than kill. I did die quite a bit, um, but. So to prevent that, I'm just like, let me just stay away from everybody and just roll everywhere with, with my roller. And I, you yeah. can get a lot, you can paint a lot of ground with that roller. What's yeah, you can. Weapon? I, I had two. Um, both of them were melee weapons. I like the uh, the Splatana. Yep. I really like that. It's like a windshield wiper with paint on it. It's awesome. I thought that was really cool. I, I had a good time with that one. And then towards the end, I started using, I don't know what it's called, but it looked like a giant paintbrush like a big paintbrush i don't know like a mop kind of yeah could look kind of like a mop it was a like a fancy mop yeah i know Uh, those two i really liked and then there was a gun that i really liked uh i can't remember which one it was one of the guns maybe it was the one that looked like the uh the nes duck hunt blaster might have been that i think that one i liked i also enjoyed the double pistol 
Uh, I was having a lot of fun with that. Yeah, I thought the, the double pistol is cool because you have you get another move. Like you can roll, you can like dodge roll. Yeah, you can. That's pretty cool. I thought that was cool too. Everything was new to me. So like when I think right. Joe Joe actually pointed that out to me while we were playing with him for that last yeah hour. yeah and and he was like yeah that's a, that's a that's the only thing you can do with them or that's a special thing. I'm like oh I didn't I didn't know that. Look and down on in the community. I'm pretty sure he said. Did he? Yeah, look down on in the community. Nobody well, likes those. They get well, mad about it. Guess them. what? I'm not a I don't care. I'm not I don't care your, either. I'm not joining the Splatoon. Either. Listen, I'm not joining any Splatoon clicks here. I just want to play the game. It's real fun. Oh uh, yeah. I, I did I did just see this in the chat. Mindstorm said the sharks. The shark bomb things where you ride oh, them my, through and they those are sweet. Those no, are awesome. I, I hate it because it killed me many, many, many yeah, times. Me too. me too. Well, I could see them I, I saw them coming eventually. You can get out of the way if you're if you can see it come. Because I mean they yeah. come from Pretty far distance, but a lot of times you couldn't. Cool. A lot of times you couldn't see it coming, which is yeah. really, really kind of frustrating. Yeah, with yeah. that. I mean, I don't know, man. It was. I was very surprised how much I actually liked it. Yeah, uh, I had a hell of a time getting used to the controls at first. The motion controls. Yeah, man, I I was I struggled with it really, really hard. Yeah, the most um, controls the were. Beginning. They kind of. I, I I understand them as as time went on with the game. I did. Uh, I was kind of, I kind of hated the most controls because not See, because I was, I was fine at the it end. Was the, it was the implementation of it at the beginning. Uh, it was like uh, that's not how and all the other games, any, all the other shooters that use gyro, that is not how they utilize it. Uh, they kind of disable your uh, Y and uh, X axis or whatever. I'm sorry, the up and down axis. I can't think of it, the Y axis. Yeah. Uh, they kind of disable that, and you can only go left and right. But you could, but you use the gyro to go all directions, and that, that's just kind of silly to me. Most shooters, you can just dial it in to make it very. Yeah, but you know, I mean, that's clearly the way it's been for three games. It's fine. You know? it, it's fine. I'm, I'm not. No complaints here. I, I'll, I got used to it after a while, so we're good. Yeah. Uh, my biggest problem. Yeah. It was. It was interesting. My biggest problem was I first started out. I was upstairs on the couch. I first started out in handheld mode. That is just not possible. I not mean, ideal. I'm, you, not you ideal. can do it, but man, because you're literally moving the switch. So there's just, you know, there's glare, then there's not, and then there's glare, and there's not, and you can't see, and you're trying to shoot. It's no, yeah, it's too much. Uh, you sh- you then should've... once I moved to the pro controller, it was, it was a whole different story, but yeah. I got used to them. I Game. think they're fine now. The pro controller was is a game changer, no pun intended, to that game. It's it's really oh, yeah. You can't you, really play it without the pro controller. It really it's really necessary. I didn't yeah, and you know me not being someone who has played played the game a lot, didn't even think about that until I was halfway through a match. I was like, this is awful. This yeah. is so hard. Did we show off your Joy Cons yet on the podcast uh, here? I mean, we we can throw them up. Yeah, just show them up there. You got you got the Joy Cons over there. The back, yes. the, see, the back for me is the is the interesting part. Personally. Yeah, let me take it out of it. The, the front, the front is really colorful and really kind of you know crazy. The back is cool. They they are it's cool. interesting because they're kind of transparent, but not. They're like, sorry for the audio listeners, but you can see the battery in there. So it's just like semi transparent plastic, but it's got the little design on it too. The back, I mean, they look good, man. They are. These might be the best Joy Cons that they've made. I still think that the Skyward Sword Joy Cons are the best, personally. Uh, however, they that, are. They say- are nice. That is saying that without ever touching these Splatoon ones and looking at them in person. So yeah, I, I mean, kinda, I got them both right sure. here, man. I don't. I mean, I love Zelda. You know, I love Zelda. Yeah. Absolutely love Zelda. But dude, mm, these are. These are nice Joy Cons. Side they, question, real fast: Why doesn't Nintendo ever put white sticks on the Joy Cons? I don't the, know. You know what? As soon as these got here, I was like, "These need white sticks and white buttons." Yeah. What, what's the, what's their opposition? I don't know. Well, because they have it in the Switch Lite. Yeah, but only the Switch Lite. They're trying to differentiate the two sticks, and I don't get why. Is it, they're they're literally the same exact sticks. It's not like they're different. I don't know. It's exactly a good question. True. I wish they would do that. I wish they would do that. Yeah. I don't know. Uh. Yeah, so guys, uh, got Splatoon three. That was a fantastic time with that demo. It really was. I had, I had a wonderful time. Uh, we uh, had a question. Oh, go ahead, Jer. No, go ahead. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. We had a question from our Discord uh, just be- right before we went live. I know Coco Bay's not here right now, but he'll be catching this up on you know whether he listens to the podcast on the audio platforms or over on the li- or the, the the live stream uh, video on YouTube. Uh, he asked this question. Really, kind of. I wasn't even going to talk about it. Drip was like, we should really talk about this. I'm like, okay, sure. So the question is, which is harder, Splatoon 3 
or Fortnite? Now, and he's asking, I'm pretty sure he's asking, like, difficulty-wise, which game is more difficult to play? And it's an interesting question to ask because they are different games. However, they're both shooters. So Yeah, but they're, they're completely very different. different styles of shooters. Like, yeah. calling these two games the same type of game is... That's very that's very loose. You're it's being an, real loosey goosey yeah. saying that. And it's interesting. It's, it's interesting to compare it to because most shooters are not different. <laughs> yeah, most a lot shooters of them are the same. I mean, the first, the first ones I think on the top of my head are Halo. We got Call yeah. of Duty, Fortnite, PUBG. All these games they're incredibly similar with totally different graphics and different styles of weapons, but they're all pretty much the same weapons essentially in different skins. Uh, and yeah, also they, they, the, they the all serve the same purpose. Exactly. And Splatoon, though, is different from that. So I guess Fortnite here kind of represents different games. Fortnite represents all those other games. We kind of compile all those kind of games we think of as shooters as one. And Splatoon versus that. So I don't know, Drip, which is harder? I, I got to say Splatoon as well. Splatoon is much, much harder. Splatoon's harder. I mean, sure. you got you have to, you have to, like, Okay, here's the paint. It's, yeah, here's the problem. <laughs> Here was my my biggest problem going into this game as a, a newbie Splatoon player. I'm coming from games like, like you know, you put a gun in my hand in a game. I'm like, okay, you're going to kill people. You're going to shoot people. Yeah, like that's the point. And it it is the point in this game, but it's not. The point is to cover the place in paint in your paint and make sure they don't. So you have to stop them. But the the biggest point is to get more paint. Yeah. So not, I came like into K, the game. Yeah. Your KD came, ratio means nothing. Right. It's all about the the paint percentage. Right. So I came into the game trying to find people, you know, just going around trying to find people to kill, you know, just paint here, whatever. Like, no, that's it, it's totally different. Your your goal in the end is a completely different thing. You know, Fortnite is yeah. to survive, to be the last person standing. Yeah. This I mean, there's so there's so much more strategy, and I'm not saying that there's no strategy that goes into these other games because yeah, there definitely there, is if you're if you're really good. But there's a lot of strategy in regular shooters. With, but I with know Splatoon, what yeah, with Splatoon, like like you said, you, you got to swim in the paint to even recharge. Like if you even want to shoot, you got to get down and recharge. You'll run out. There's so many different little things. It's it's just really really well designed gameplay, and I'm yep. honestly a little embarrassed that I'm just hopping on the train at three. I, I mean, it's. I'm it's really, really all. good. And I'm honestly, another thing I'm really excited about is because I think I told you this while we were playing. Like, all I did was just have fun. I, I wasn't really trying to to get into like what this pair of shoes does or what this hat does or what put this mask on or whatever. All those little things, because they all give you buffs, which is cool. And then yeah. not even that. Like, I didn't get any of that. I'm like, I'll, I'll do that once I buy the game. I just want to have fun with this. But right. the strategy, like the actual strategy of like, what team you have, who's doing what, what, what your, your, you know what I mean? Like how you yeah. work together to build a strategy to actually win. Because man, if you don't have one. You saw it. We got mowed over a few times and oh, these people gosh, clearly man. had a strategy and they were implementing it perfectly and beating us to a pulp. <laughs> yes. Yes. The, you need the team camaraderie strategy. I highly recommend playing with, with people that you're on a discord call with or something like that. To kind of strategize. There's so many weapons in this game. Like, you could not touch all the weapons in that demo period and have a good understanding of any of them. You had to kind of pick which yeah. ones you thought were going to be your favorite and try them out for a few rounds and stick with those and not necessarily master them, but at least there's just not enough time to master all those items in that demo. So, looking forward, the mo I'm looking forward most is when the game comes out, the tr game getting an extended time with all these different weapons and really trying them all out is, is kind of what I am most excited for. And, but yeah, going back to the point of which one's more difficult, that's another thing about it is there's so many weapons and it's kind of difficult to kind of learn not only how to use those weapons for your own yeah. gain, but also how to defend yourself from all those different weapons that all the other team is now using onto you. It's not just like, oh yeah, this is a sniper. I just kind of gotta run around left, right, and jump just so they don't they can't hit me because they're trying to snipe me. No, no, no. It, this, there's that, and then there's 14 other weapons that can kill you. You need to figure out that you're different. It's not just jump, crouch, side to side like most shooters. It's yeah. like swim and paint and run for your life. <laughs> it's a lot of yeah, it's kind of strategy I learned. And I do see something else in the chat here. Joe's saying that we've we've may have maybe think it's harder just because we've played a lot more Fortnite than we have this. 
And I will say that's a fair that's a that's a fair thing to say. And I will say that when I first jumped in, yeah, the game was everything was happening so fast, and I couldn't, yeah, you know, I couldn't even react. I was like, what what the hell is going on? But I will say by the by the end of the night, I was at least good enough at the game where I knew what was going on. I still wasn't good at it, yeah. but I knew what was going on. I knew what needed to be done. I just I just couldn't execute in it. But I still say I still say Splatoon is the harder game to play. Anybody can play Fortnite. I mean you could just jump my, my six year old plays Fortnite, dude. It's <laughs> I'll tell it's, you what your six year old your six year old could not play Call of Duty and have that same kind of success. This Call of Duty is definitely on the lower end of those shooters compare difficulty wise compared to the other shooters that especially that I played. Uh and with Halo you have like a twenty plus year player base. They're yeah. now in their fifties. The people who started playing Halo back in the day. So, like, I know Splatoon's got their got their their crowd as well. That's pretty old. But listen, guys, Halo is not is not even comparable. There's so many good Halo players out there too. It's twenty five years worth of player yeah. base. Uh, drip. Uh, moving on to the next topic here. Uh, it all kind of hit all of a sudden out of, out of nowhere. All of a sudden today. Uh, that was Dude, it was like a it was like a tornado that just <laughs> just dropped down right in the middle of the field, took out the entire uh, herd yeah. of cows. Yeah, and, and if took you out watched, the barn, <laughs> everything. If you watched Switch Force video today during this tornado of of information, you might have thought that he kind of blew out of his house and fell and hit his head. I don't know what's going on today with Switch Force. He's t he's in a character today, dude. Yeah, I watched that. I was trying to yeah. get. A little bit more information on, yeah. Just to make sure I had all the information. Which, after watching the video, I realized I already had all the information. I but I'm just, I'm literally asking anybody out there, what, 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 what is that a bit? I, I missed the video or something. He's, he's there's a yeah, bit. I think, it's I hilarious. Think it's a, I think it's a bit. That it's wig, hilarious. yeah, the wigs, the wigs are nice. The nice wig, touch. the sunglasses, I love it. But uh, yeah, nice it's a touch. lot. A lot of my information kind of came from Switch Wars today. Uh, and I, I kind of want you to kind of lead the charge here because. We have a rumor. I mean, dude, or is you it know confirmed? what? All I can is say, I, all I can say is it's nice to put a video out about something, and then twenty minutes later, other places. Like, I, I mean, I got the stuff from you know other places. Jeff Grubb's the one talking about this. A Nintendo Direct yeah. in September. Uh, that's that's where the information first came from, and, and there's going to be a lot of Zelda stuff. There is what he's saying, and I mean that. Great. Sounds good to me. I obviously I'm excited about that. But then right after my video went up on all this stuff today, uh articles coming out started coming out everywhere else, kind of kind of going along saying, yeah, you know, we, we kind of are hearing this too. This is definitely something that's gonna be going on. Lots of Zelda. And we even got a date. They say, well, it's the week of the 12th, yep. which is I said that in the video. It's the week after Splatoon 3 comes out. So, I mean, now, a date that I heard was September twelfth. Honestly, I kind of think that it's not going to be that exact. Well, date no, what is the twelfth? Is that that's like a Monday? That's a, that's a Monday, and no, they're, they're a, not no. going to happen on a Monday. It'll be I, Wednesday. I would say probably the fourteenth, Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah, just want to point that out. That it's but, in the thumbnail and stuff, but I don't think it's going to be the twelfth. Yeah, I mean, I'm still like I said. I, I was that's that was the whole point of me making the video, though. I was I wasn't really wanting to talk about the direct, which I do want to do here. Uh, tonight but most of my video was about the zelda stuff that's what i'm more you know that's what i care about because i told you i'm still holding out hope we will get a zelda game in 2022 i know we're late but i think i think we're still gonna get it it's gonna be it's gonna be great it's gonna be wonderful yeah we're really late and like you're in your video today we'll, we'll have that link down below so you guys can check out after this uh, uh this episode you know, it's not the first, especially it's not even the first Zelda game that Nintendo has kind of waited this long to announce and release in the same year. Like you, you said in your video, Hyrule Warriors. Yeah, that was what? That was in 20, was that 2020? 2019. That's when the game, uh, well, I'm sorry, not 2019. It was 2020. 2020, 2020 you're yeah. right. So yeah, the Direct was September like 8th or 7th or something like that. And then they yeah. released it in November. Yes. So, I mean, that's... On my birthday. <laughs> that was a great birthday present. Yeah, so I mean, it's not like they haven't done this before. And it, again, it's if it is Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, which we'll get to that all yeah, yeah. in a minute. If the, they're they're just ports, yes. like that are gonna already sell, like they're going to fucking sell. <laughs> you don't really need a lot of lead up for these. No, you don't. I mean, they could <laughs> announce them, you know, whatever the fourteenth, fifteenth, 
put them out a month later. Yeah. And listen, Drip, the lead up, it's already happened, man. It didn't happen from the Nintendo, but it's oh, yeah, everybody else everybody, about it. Yeah. Everybody has heard about it at this point. Uh, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess to the Switch. When is it coming? It's it's searched on YouTube every day 50 million times a second. Like everybody's waiting for this game to come out. And there is no it is not necessary for the lead up for the Nintendo to well, they, build Yeah, they don't need up. it. Everybody already knows they're great games. Everybody wants them on the Switch. I mean, they are literally what? Two of four Wii U games left that haven't been ported? Yeah, I it's mean, I don't, Xenoblade I don't Chronicles number. X, I yeah. think, Star Fox Zero, and those two. Mm -hmm. There may be another one I'm forgetting, but I mean, basically, that's it of the the really big games. That's really it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, they're coming, but they they keep the, okay. And in all these uh, these reports or interviews or whatever we're getting this this information from, uh, Jeff Grubb says that they're both for sure. Like he like he keeps saying both. Do you think it's gonna be both? Man, I I don't I can't answer that question honestly. Anybody who does, I mean, it's their opinion, but honestly, they're just pulling it out of their ass. Nobody. Well, yeah, knows. I mean, I, I mean, nobody what do you think, knows. Though? Nobody what knows. Think? But here's here's my dumb well, here's my dumb knows. here's my dumb reason why I don't think it's gonna be a true double pack uh not like a lot of people are thinking i think people are literally thinking i mean we saw in the discord today we literally saw fan art of like a line down the middle yeah. of, of the case yeah power Left map is wind waker and right is is twilight princess i don't think that's gonna be it i mean I there's think we no can, fucking way they're gonna I, give us both those games for six there's just no way i think i think right? it's, i think we get them separately or at the, you can not, or buy in the, addition, the, you can buy a the collector's... Pokemon, the Pokemon-style double pack. Exactly. Because Yeesh. I just can't see on a Switch game from Nintendo, it's such a small box as it is. Putting a line down the middle, is, is you're not going to fit much artwork on there. I think from that... I know it's kind of a dumb now, reason. hold on. Think about it. Think about it. We got something kind of like that and had three games. And we've seen that before, too. Uh, the... True. Super Mario uh, 3D All-Star Collection has three games. They split that True. up. It looks pretty nice. So it's possible to do. We don't, you know, that, that's yeah, fan it, art. That's you're not wrong. You, you brought that to my attention. I, I did forget about that. Uh, yeah, it's doesn't, been done. That's, that still doesn't change my mind on it. I, I don't think they're going to do it with this. I, it, they're, this is, listen, those games, I, I know these games are new or older, or as old as those, some of those. I'm not, not more 64 necessarily, but uh, Sunshine is about the same age Sunshine, as, as yeah. Moon Maker, right? Yeah, I mean that came out on the GameCube. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess is, is the Wii. Yeah, it was late in the it was, Galaxy. Uh, no, it was early in the Wii. Life. I'm sorry, it was. I believe it was a launch game. I don't know. Everything's every as I'm talking about. It, the more I'm kind of thinking, I'm wrong on it. But I, I just I I think it's more of what I want to see. What I want to see is a collector's edition for like eighty or ninety bucks, and you get <laughs> you get a nice outer sleeve situation. I think you're inside dreaming. Inside comes two games. I think you're dreaming. Well, I think you're dreaming if you're getting both of those games for sixty bucks. I really, I, I, well, that I, mean, I, think I, I don't are. know. That I think you're dreaming of. I really I, don't think those two games are going to be sixty bucks. I think they're going to sell them for like eighty, seventy nine, ninety nine, and it's going to be a collector's edition. That's kind so of you what, think, I, that's you think they're, you think they're they're going to sell them for forty dollars a piece, basically. Basically, I've gone back and forth oh, on man. it for a long time since we've been talking about this. I, I really, that's kind of where I'm. That's where I've settled into the sand with. Yeah, if they come, I, I'm telling you this right now. If they come in a double pack, it's 120 bucks, and I, they will sell I, them separately as well for sixty dollars each. I, I almost prefer that version because that that way at least I can choose which ones I buy when. And God forbid, we, we haven't talked about this, Drew. God forbid they say, and it's gonna self destruct in February. No, of they won't do. No, they only did that because God of the, the 35th forbid. anniversary. They won't do that. I would hope not. Well, not if they're selling it at a discounted price. Maybe now that yeah. is that is an interesting thing to, to think about there because we got the the Super Mario. I'm, I'm sorry, the Mario 35th Anniversary Collection for sixty bucks with those three games. Yeah, and they had they didn't have a lot of work. They had some work done to them. I mean, sixty four looks pretty good. Uh, Od or, I'm sorry, not Odyssey. Uh, help me out here. The Wii. Uh, Galaxy? Galaxy looked incredible. That almost yes. looked like a new Mario game. 
It did. It did, man. It, it really looked incredible. Did. It did not play like one. It definitely no, played it a little. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I, I still love Galaxy. I had a really a lot of fun with it. It did not yeah. play like a new game, yeah, but it like looked it. like a new game. You're absolutely right. I didn't like. I didn't like the controls. I don't like the way. I didn't like the way it was. Hand anyway, that, that, yeah, that, good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. My point is, they sold it for sixty dollars. All three of those games had some work done to them, but then yeah, it was a limited time thing. Yeah. Now you can't get it. Well, you can. I saw them at Best Buy the other day. They still got them on the shelves. Oh, dude, they're not going away. <laughs> they, they made so many. Yeah, you can't buy it in the eShop anymore, which is, that's absolute bullshit. But whatever. Nice. Not not the point. Um, what I'm saying is, in that case, yeah, maybe you do see it at $60 there, and it's limited. Which, yeah. I mean, I don't care. Whatever. Then they're still going to get $120 out of me because I'm going to buy a physical version and a digital version. <laughs> <laughs> so either way, I'm paying $120 for both the games. Yeah. They're going to be 60, man. I know they're going to be 60. They're not going to they're not going to give those games to us like like we want them. They're going to char- they know people want them. They're going to charge for them. Yeah. I mean, when I, I, though? I, I, when? December? October, November? December would be a bad time and here's why. Uh games will sell regardless in December. There's no need for Nintendo to we're, uh, you know, push out a game to everybody and say, and it's releasing in December 12. There's no need to do that. They're going to they actually might lose sales comparatively because it's not out early enough to buy for Christmas because people do some people at least. I'm sorry. I hate my Christmas shopping some, early. Some people yeah. do Christmas I mean, I shopping early. I try to, man. I try to. I think my birthday right around there where Hyrule Wars was released, that's the sweet spot. That that mid to but late you November. Remember, but November's, God, there's so much in November already. I know. And they could also lose sales that way. That's why this is an interesting rumor that we're just so ho- ho-hum about. Like, yeah, it's, people are talking I, I mean, about it. It's just interesting because, like, it's a weird time for it to come out. Knowing, Like you said, Pokemon's coming out already. And, and the, it's, you can't get it out December because that's too late. Unless it's, like, December. What, what, let's look at the calendar real fast over here on my PC here. Let's, let's the, let me go to December of 2022. Let's, what does the calendar look like beginning December? Yeah, I suppose sure. it, it could. I, I guess December second, uh, December second, twenty twenty two. That's a Friday. That could be a realistic day for when they actually drop, and it's not late enough that people are going to miss it during. Yeah, that's shop- really early. Shopping. That's really early in the in the. I mean, yeah. yeah I don't know what's. Does anything gives, else come out two, that day? That's, that's two. That's two weeks. That's two weeks after Pokemon. Maybe two and a half weeks. I'm not sure exactly numbers wise, but about two weeks before, after Pokemon. That's enough time for Pokemon to get the sales in. And, and the game, oh, which it still will anyway. I mean, Pokemon's gonna. Like, it would doesn't have, matter. We we could be talking that a train certain, won't stop. Yeah, no matter what, for it's sure. rolling. We could potentially be talking about not a shadow drop, but a really something we, like if it's early November, we're getting we're announcing the game in September 14th, and then like a month and a half in in early November. It's I think it's what I'm getting at is I think it's going to either be two weeks before or two weeks after. Uh, That's fair. Okay, that's fair. So here's another question. Since this direct is supposedly so Zelda heavy, is this where we finally get Breath of the Wild 2 name gameplay trailer? Is is this where it actually happens? If it doesn't happen here, where does it happen? And if it doesn't happen here, it's going to happen in 2023. And if it happens in 2023, it's delayed. <laughs> it's delayed. This this is the mapping of everything. So I think this next direct, if there even is one, is going to tell so much about the future of Nintendo and Zelda going forward. Like, in, whether they say something or don't say something. If there, if there is no Zelda game, but an announcement of the of the name of Breath of the Wild two, that's something. If there is no announcement of Breath of the Wild two, but we uh, but we do get the ports, that does say something too. But if we get nothing, no name. For Breath of the Wild 2? Oh, yeah, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Zelda is in trouble. I mean, well, I, I just, but listen, listen, that's something remember, you have to remember. <laughs> you have to remember this. Yeah. I honestly could not tell you the last mainline Zelda game that came out that wasn't delayed to fucking back. <laughs> I mean, yeah. they, they, when Zelda games come out, they come out the way they were intended to be, which is yep. fine with me. It's very possible this could be the late. I'd hate to see that. I would absolutely hate to see that at this point, but it's it's really possible. Yeah. It's happened before. That it would be devastating is an exaggeration, but that would be a hit to my Zelda fandom. Oh, I mean it would not me. It's it's they want the game right, man. 
They do. They want the game right. That's it. It's, it's and I'm fine with it. It's taking a hit because, like, it it wouldn't. I mean, here's the thing. Here, here's what I'll say. It won't take a hit if we get Wind Waker and Twilight Princess on the Switch because I I did I went out. I'm a crazy guy. I did go out and buy a Wii U just so I could buy those ports on the Wii U. Yeah. Um. So I already have the games, but that's the only reason I still have a Wii U hooked up. Yeah. Um. But it it would uh. So I, I don't necessarily need to play them on Switch, but I would like to play them on Switch because I don't play them enough as yes, it God. stands. Who wants, Wii, to, who wants the, to go I over there and turn all that crap on? No, I, don't I want it want digital it. on my Switch where I'm playing everything else, please. And, and I want to go upstairs, man. And I yeah. can't, the Switch, this Wii U is not that far away from my bedroom. It's not, we don't live in a mansion. It's not that far away, but it can't reach to my bedroom. So like oh, that reason alone. the G mansion. Look at that. the G mansion. Yeah, I, I, it reaches to the couch back there, but that's as far as I can go. With my Wii U before it tells me, nope, can't play. Yeah, you can't go far. It's like, come on, man. Like, I don't want to play these on here. I'm, I'm glad I have them for game preservation reasons, and I can always go back to them when I need to. Yeah. Just because they're lo located on the console themselves. Um, but I want them on Switch because of yeah. the convenience of Switch. The reason why you have a Switch in the first place and not still playing an old Wii U is the reason why I want them on Switch. That's all. All right. We're going to play a little game. All right, let's go, man. I, I have no idea what we're going to do here. Okay, so here's you, you what we're set, doing. You set this whole thing up. It, it's a very simple game. We're going to go down a list, and, and we're just going to pretend like this direct, like we know there actually is one, okay? okay? I got a list. I got a list of stuff here, and I want you to tell me, yes, it will be at the direct, or no, it will not be at the direct. Uh, hold on. I think I might have something here. I might what do you have? have breaking think, news. No, oh. uh, I hope I wish. Uh, I might have. No, I don't think I have it. I used to have game show music because we used to do this. Oh, that was. <laughs> and I don't see the game show music. We switch sound of G Productions. Wait, wait, hold my beer. Nope. Cheap clip. Nope. I don't have it. I'm sorry. That was a waste of time. Uh, no, no game show music, guys. I'm sorry. We'll have to go with that game show music for the stream. I can always add right. post. It's fine. Totally fine. Let's go. Okay. We're going to start with the ones we've already talked about. Uh, right. Breath of the Wild, release date. Will it be at the Direct or will it not be at the Direct? Are, we, are you marking, by the way, before I answer, are you marking these things down so we can check ourselves after the Direct? Because I think we should do that. Sure. Get your little pen out and uh, I, mark my, my answers my, down. My Apple pencil is upstairs, yeah, yeah. but I can. Mark, mark your answer and mark my answer, and we will okay. compare until after the, the, the Direct is over, potentially, if it even happens. So we can okay. go back and look. So audio and, vid and stream, guys. Keep notes. We're going to be going back to this information later. So, again, <laughs> the question, sir. Breath of the Wild 2 release date. Will it be at the Direct or will it not be at the Direct? I'm going to be optimistic and say, yes, it's going to be at the Direct. Jeeb is a yes. I am also a yes. I think it uh, will be there. I think we will get the date. I am really hopeful. If we don't, it's delayed, and that sucks. But I think, yeah. I think we're going to get the date. Yeah. All right. Stream, stream. Put your answers in the chat. Now, this is kind of an easy one. It's probably going to be a yes for both of us. It's a yes for me. I'm going to go ahead and put myself down as a yes. Uh, the name of Breath of the Wild 2. Well, yes. If, if we get gonna... the release date, yeah, it's a yes. Those are yes, hand That's in what hand. I figured. Yes, they go hand in hand. But if you said no to the date, you still could have said yes to the name. So You could have. You could. And that's, that's, why, that's, that's why also... That's a high possibility. Yeah. Okay. Um, here, here's an off-the-wall one. Uh, a new Donkey Kong game. New Donkey Kong. A new Donkey Kong game. We've been hearing rumors about a new Donkey Kong game for a while. Is it at the Direct? Or is it not at the Direct? I'm going to say yes. Because wow. probably, probably from the questions you're about to ask me a little bit later, later on, I think I'm going to say no to those. And I'm going to say yes to this one. You're going to say yes to a new dog. I mean, it's time. Yeah, it's time. I mean, if Play you think about it, the, the last Donkey Kong game we got was Tropical Freeze, Wii U port. So we haven't had a Donkey Kong game. Yep. I mean, we haven't had a Mario Kart either, though. That's, That's also true. a Wii U port. So uh, I'm going to say no. I don't okay. think we see that yet. Okay. I think that's maybe something we see at E3 next year, honestly. I think that's – it's been a while. And, I mean, I don't know who's going to make it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll I see. No idea. We'll see. Well, supposedly the, the rumors are that the team that the Odyssey team 
is working on a new Donkey Kong game. The, the, so, that, doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean Odyssey style. That just kind of means right. It could yeah, the it Odyssey could be team. right. It could be a totally different game. Of course, as soon as people hear that rumor, they're like, "Oh, it's 3D. It's like 64." But you don't know that. Yeah. You don't know that. All right, yeah. I'm gonna go with no. I don't think we see that. Okay. Uh, okay. Not, not the remakes, but do we see anything about brand new footage of Metroid Prime Four, the one we've been waiting on that got restarted? Uh, that we still haven't seen anything for years and years and years and years. Do we see anything on Metroid Prime 4? Man, man. I, see, I don't know your other questions. So I, I kind of want to bait. I want to play off all the questions. I want you, I want you, to, I want you to go I with know, your heart. Go to my heart. Listen, you go my with your heart. I have a young Nintendo heart, man. I don't got all the information. I'm learning as I go here. I understand. I'm going to say No. Okay. Jeep is a no. I feel Jeep very pessimistic a... about that game release because. No. I've heard I, that rumor has been out there. Or the game was it wasn't Nintendo, didn't Nintendo talk. Sorry, didn't Nintendo talk about that game? Yeah. So what happened was they announced they announced it a long time ago, and all it yeah. was is a big four and it said Metroid yeah. Prime Four. So and then Nintendo later on, they never said another word about it. And they came back later and they said, "Listen, uh, we were we're restarting all all the development because they were trying to do it in house. Because mm -hmm. I believe uh, it was uh, Retro Studios who's doing it now." Um. They did all the other Prime games. Nintendo was trying to do this one in house. Yeah. Clearly, didn't work out. So they handed they handed the development back to them. But we have not. That was years ago. At this point, yeah. we haven't seen anything. So, yeah, so that, that, that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna out. go with a no. I don't. Sorry, I don't that, think we see that. Not a rumor. That that game has been talked about since before oh, yeah. I came into this Nintendo. Stuff. Oh yeah, it's it's and a it's thing. And it ha we haven't got updated since. So since they said I, they were giving it so, to, it's been so down. All the information and like people people's attitudes about it. That's why I say no because like I just I don't know if the game's ever coming out. Honestly. Oh, it's coming out. It is. It it's going to be great time. too. Could be it's going to be awesome. Um, I say that's another E3 thing probably for next year. Okay. I, I would say so. I'm going to go with no on that one too. Uh, what do we have left? All right, now we're going to do. Oh, here's another wild one. Pikmin Four. Will we see Pikmin Four finally? Um, this is I another one. Now listen, this is from a long long time ago they said that they were working on pikmin 4 and it was almost done this was forever ago forever really? ago like really? so long ago and that was it uh but i i yeah i i figured that would uh that would get the chat <laughs> excited <there. laughs> certain people in the chat um what do you think this is another one that they say is a thing, but some people are starting to say, like, maybe it's not a thing. Maybe it is a thing. Who knows? Maybe they had to restart it and just didn't say yeah. anything. Nothing's been said about it for a long time, though. Will it be at the Direct or will it not be at the Direct? That game came out. The port came back onto Switch in, what, 2020? Pikmin 3 Deluxe was 2020. 2020? Correct. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> not good. <laughs> um, you may just turn off our podcast on people's devices, man. What are you doing? I hope not. They're, li they're listening to Drippy Podcast on Alexa. Uh, maybe they are, and I'm sorry. Oh, turn it back on. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it's off now. They can't bend back. Uh, what was the question? Pikmin 4? Uh, Pikmin 4, I'm going to say no. No for Pikmin Jeep 4. Jeep is a no. We're basically filling out our like our Nintendo bingo card right now, kind of. Eh, I mean, kind of. I mean, you know, obviously, if they announce a direct, I'm going to do a full, full on predictions yeah. video obviously yeah. hell i may i may just pre-film it you know what happened last time i did that we didn't get a direct that's what happened last time Jeep. oh that's right that's right <laughs> that video still sits archived on my channel for the day <laughs> oh man that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna release it to patrons oh that's a good idea that's a great i'm doing that as soon as we're done with the podcast at least somebody perfect. will get to watch it perfect um right. okay Next question. i'm gonna say Yes, we oh, do really? see it. I'm gonna say yes, just for fun. What for Joe? You said it for Joe. I'm gonna what? say Don't just cater for to fun. Joan. I say yes. Right. We see Pikmin Four finally. It's a huge right. reveal. People are excited. Maybe not because there's so much Zelda stuff, but it's possible. It's still it's possible. possible. It is indeed possible. I'm gonna say yes. I've said a lot. I've got a lot of no's, so I want to give a yes. That's my yes. It's okay. a wild one. I know it's a wild one. We'll see what happens. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? Me okay, the Metroid Prime, not the, not four, 
the old Metroid Prime games, whether it's just the first one or the Metroid yes. Prime trilogy. Yeah. Will Do we, we see, see that announced for the Switch? Has it been announced yet at all? Or no. this this would be this no. would be the this is one of those other just giant rumor things that just always goes around. I think I've made videos where I've said this is gonna be at a direct probably forty five to fifty times. I'm gonna <laughs> say no again. No prime trilogy announcement at this September direct. And if we, okay. I'll, I'll add this caveat. If we do get the announcement, it's going to be a teaser, and we're not going to see it for two years. No, it's a remake. They wouldn't do that. Oh, is it? Oh, that's, that's right. It's well, a remake. Okay. Yeah, it's a remake. But they have to remake, not a port. It's a remake, right? No, 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 no. It may be a port. We don't know. We don't if know. It's a, if it's a total remake, two years. If it's a port, I'd say they, they're just going to put twenty. No way, dude. The they wouldn't. No, 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 no way. I, I, you're wrong on that. There's no way they're going to talk about this and be like, oh, sorry, it's way out. Because Metroid Prime 4 is way out. This is the bridge. Not way out. Between... Just, just a year. Yeah, we'll see. Just, just we'll a see. Year. I don't know. I'm going to go yes. I think we see it. I'm going to go yes. I think this is right. finally the time. Because you know what? I keep saying it's going to be at every fucking direct. If I just keep saying yes, eventually it will actually be there. And it will be, <laughs> it will be glorious. It will be fun. We'll, everyone will be happy. So I'm going to go with yes. It's been talked about forever. Now, I don't know. The, the trilogy has turned into it's not a trilogy. It's now just the first game. But again, yeah. these are all rumors. So yeah. who the hell knows? Okay. Um, last few here. Uh, will we see any new DLC added to the online expansion pack? Yes, sir. Confidently answering yes. that one. Yes, sir. This yes, is the, this I, I have is the to go day. yes on that, too. This is the time. This is the day. Everyone, I'm talking like John F. Kennedy once again. We will see the Nintendo Switch Online <laughs> receive Game Boy Advance on the online platform. You will get it, and you will take your Game Boy Advance on your Switch to the moon. To the moon. To the moon, yes. To, to the, the moon. moon. Um, I agree. I agree. And I think it's going to be – I don't think it's going to be new – DLC, I think it's going to be old DLC. I think this is, th since this Direct is supposed to be a Zelda-heavy Direct, I bet they add the Breath of the Wild DLC to the expansion pack. So we'd get Wind Waker, I, yeah. Twilight Princess maybe, put that in there. Then they talk about Breath of the Wild 2, give the date, the whole, you know, the whole thing. Maybe the last, yeah. you know, maybe the last 10, 15 minutes of the Direct is just all Zelda. I, we've seen that before. It's possible. It's possible. This is a mini. Because well, they did it. They did it uh, when they announced um, Skyward Sword. They were. T they talked about Skyward Sword and the joy. Like they took forever on. They said the, and they talked about the Game and Watch, the Joy Cons, Skyward Sword. Yeah. Uh, so much stuff. So I mean, yep. it's possible. This is definitely possible. I'm gonna it say that's possible. probably the next thing that goes in the uh the the expansion pack. Okay. I don't know why it wouldn't. Yeah, I, you're probably totally right on that. Totally right. All right, What's last that? one. Game Boy Advanced. Is it added to the online expansion oh, pack? What was the question from earlier? Uh, oh, it's, I guess it's the same question, just kind of. Okay, yeah, of course. I already said yes. No, this is different. I'm asking about DLC packs on the first question. You said yes. I'm asking if Game oh, Boy Advanced, the new, uh, Game Boy Advanced system, I'm to sorry, go I, along with the 64, the yeah, Genesis, yeah. all the other stuff, will I, it be added? So I misunderstood your, th your question earlier. Uh, I kind of already I already answered that in my mind. I guess I didn't say it. So yes, we're getting expansion. Okay. We're getting DLC expansion, and we're getting another console because that's going to come hand in hand. I think. Well, they'll talk about it all at once because I we're because did not I already answered that we're going to get um the date and the name for Breath of the Wild two. So they're going to add the expansion pack onto the um service. So they're going to add the DLC onto the expansion pack. You know, right later on while they announce okay but that i'm asking you this question game boy advance games is yes. that system going to be added i i believe so i think this is the time okay i am i'm also in agreement of that i mean they they found like the emulators and stuff they're using to put like it's it's been found already yes yes so i mean I, I think yeah. that's pretty um i think that's pretty cut and dry i think that's an easy one now so if this actually happens if this actually happens if if my Nintendo Direct happens, we're getting Breath of the Wild 2 news. We're getting Wind Waker. We're getting Twilight Princess. Uh, we're getting Pikmin 4. 
we're getting uh uh we're getting Breath of the Wild DLC added to the expansion pack. We're getting Game Boy Advance games. Uh we are not getting a new Donkey Kong. Uh we're getting the Metroid Prime remakes and we are not getting Metroid Prime 4. Okay, what am I getting? Or what's my direct look like? Uh if you get your direct, uh we will get no Pikmin 4. Yep. We will get online new DLC in the online. Uh we will get Game Boy Advance games. Uh we will get the name and the date for Breath of the Wild 2. Mm -hmm. Uh we will get a new DK game. Uh we will get no Metroid Prime remake and we will get no Metroid Prime 4. My direct sounds way more fun than your direct. Just saying. My direct Just saying. My direct is awesome. And don't you dare Make fun of my direct because I was. I'm not making say, fun of it. I'm just saying your direct is say, a square. Your direct like, is a square. Listen, Nintendo directs are normally not. My direct is hip. Yours is how, not. How many directs out there were just the absolute banger of bangers? Had everything. Uh, E3 2019 was fucking fire. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. The direct at E3 2019 was absolute fire. Okay, well we're not getting another fire one this year. It's going to be know. great. It's going to be great. It's not going to we'll be We'll see. It's all, it's all speculation anyway, man. Who knows? There might not even be a direct. We could I'm, be sitting here talking I'm about absolutely nothing. Literally guessing. We're, I'm just throwing guesses out there. Educated yeah. guesses at that, but guesses. Yeah. Uh, one more. We have, a, we have a, an addition. We have one addition we're going to add to your game because Mega Boy, I, I've, he's had so many good comments. I've been actually been pinning a lot of his comments uh, in the stream here. And his last comment here is one of his last comments. I think it's an interesting question. It's also the same with Donkey Kong. It's also been a long time since we've gotten a Mario game. And Mega asks, mm. well, he doesn't ask. He kind of tells, but I'm going to frame it as a question. Are we going to get a, a are we going to, are we, sorry. We, 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 Mario game? You are, we going to to get, list? are we going to get a Mario teaser for the next Okay, I'm Mario adding it to the list. Game? Mario game. I'm going to say no. I think that's how the direct is ends with just like a tease i'm gonna say a, no i think a, I, a foot and a yahoo is yes a i foot am yahoo. no after we get the banger game boy advance we get the uh dlc announced uh, 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 for breath of the wild 2 on the expansion pack after we get the announcement of the name of breath of the wild 2 and a release date and we get wind waker and, and twilight princess God, that's and to a lot. finish it that's all crazy it's you just said There's that no my way. you just said my direct sucks, and now I'm telling you my direct. Now you're telling me it's your direct crazy. is too fun. Now it is too fun. <laughs> it's not too your direct fun. is too fun. It's, you need to no, calm what it down. Is, it's, what it is is perfect. Your direct has been drinking, and they're trying to drive home. No, okay, it is, it's perfect, and it's gonna be finished off. My perfect direct is gonna be finished off with the perfect amount of sprinkles of a Mario Yahoo and a foot. It just I'll tell you what. Just a little tease to let you know that that game is coming in the future. The, the fact that you said that that. That Mega said that. I, I, I actually have one more to add, which I'm going to go right. ahead and say, yes, we will see this because we won't see that. We will see the first trailer for the Mario movie. Ooh, that's a good one, too. I bet we do. I bet that's we see the first trailer one. for the Mario for the Mario movie. I bet. I would bet anything. Mario movie trailer. That's a great one. You could put you basically could put a slash. In between the teaser for the next game or the movie, I think actually, no. I think the movie because I, I say no on the game. I'm 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 a, I'm a hard okay. no on the game. I say no on the movie. You say no on the movie? Yeah, I think the movie's gonna be a tweet. Okay, we're down. That's it. We'll see. Dude. I think the movies. I think the movies a definite. I meant to say that earlier. I think the movies a one hundred percent. Honestly, in, in, in the Nintendo game direct, a direct yeah, they already, the they already, they already did I it. I know because that way, they already did they it. Were, they were it's low not con they were low nope. content. No, they weren't. They <laughs> did it because listen, Nintendo is about. They just bought. They just bought like an they animation did. studio or something. Like they're about to go when it comes to movies and stuff. Like IPs and like they are about to go. Man, this is about to be serious. They're definitely going to be adding this stuff into directs, whether you like it or not. It's going to be happening a bunch. I promise you. Yeah. Now nah, I want to do. I want to. Yeah, I need a direct yeah. so bad. Man. <laughs> I need a direct. We need this official announcement to happen tomorrow. I, I, I happen. mean, it's not gonna happen tomorrow. What well, no. we're we get to we get to enjoy Splatoon coming out next week. Comes out Friday. Yep. 
we're going to have that. It's going to be great. We're going to have a fun weekend playing that, yeah. you know, in, into the next week, take our minds off of it. And then probably Tuesday, if it's real, that Tuesday, we'll, we'll get an announcement or Wednesday. It'll be one of those days. Get it the next day. It'll be great. Speaking of great, this podcast was also great. Thank you, Drip, for another banger podcast. Thank you. I appreciate uh, you uh, appreciate you being here with me. This episode is now concluded. You guys can stick around the stream. We'll be hanging out here. But as far as the audio, guys, we will see you guys next week. Peace.